So now we're gonna start with this pocket here. And I have here a beefy bag. And this basically is a sleeping bag for your sleeping bag. Uh, it is waterproof, it is windproof, and this is, uh, this has several purposes. So if it is, for example, very cold, uh, you can use this as a extra layer of warmth uh, because this will give you that extra layer. Uh, but I will also use this if, for example, if I have like one hour or two to rest and the weather isn't really that bad and I don't want to assemble my tent, I can just use this, you know, take out my sleeping bag, put it inside this and I'm good to go and I'm protected from the elements. So a beefy bag is a nice solution for a quick rest where you don't need to assemble your tent. And this is from, this is from Karimur, by the way. Baby wipes, uh, very important. So this is for personal hygiene. Um, you may have, for example, for hygiene, toothbrush and things like that also. Um, this is just for, for you to keep yourself, yourself clean. So baby wipes always comes in handy. This is a great product. It is from Climate, which is a great company. This is the uh, Inertia X-Frame Recon. It is a mattress. Uh, so you just inflate this by, you know, uh, by just blowing on it. Um, and this can go inside your sleeping bag or under your sleeping bag. This will give you comfort, but also uh, it will give you a separation between the floor uh, and yourself because you lose a lot of heat through the floor. It dissipates a lot. So this will act as a separation and will also give you that extra comfort. And this is also from Climate and it's the Pillow X. Uh, and this is just a item that I like to use. I really need a pillow to sleep. So this is a lightweight and easy way to have a pillow on the field. Uh, it's called the Pillow X because it has a X design so your head uh, does not slip, uh, um, slip off the pillow. Uh, but I will show you this uh, on the close-ups. A very nice product. And of course you can see here, uh, the pack has some organizational features, just some pockets with uh, some bungees. Now we are gonna talk about something really important, which is food and water. So as I said, this is a pack prepared for a 48 hour game where you need to bring your own food and water. Of course, I don't have here food for the whole 48 hours, uh, but I'm gonna show you some examples of things that you should take. I really recommend you to use uh, chemical heated MREs, which are basically things like, like this, these bags, um, these, this is a U.S. Army um, MRE and it has a lot of stuff inside. So just going to take this out. And chemical heated MREs are a really easy way for you to get a nice hot meal uh, during, a, uh, during a game or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, you will need some uh, bags, some special bags that I'm going to show you which is this right here. You, should, you need one for each bag. And this basically is where you will heat up your, uh, your MREs. This uh, reacts to water and you will have, and this will make a chemical reaction that will heat up your MRE. So for a 48 hour game, you will probably need around five uh, MREs like this. So five hot meals depending on the person that you are, if you weed a lot or not. Uh, but I do recommend you to use these MRE, MREs because they are lightweight. Uh, they are lightweight, they are nutritious, and they are really nice. For example, I have here, uh, this is dessert. This is uh, cherry blueberry cobbler, and this is chili and macaroni. Um, of course, you also have, for example, here uh, some oatmeal cookies. Uh, Italian bread, jalapeno cheese to put on the cookies. Um, this is a protein shake that the uh, US uh, Army has also on their uh, MREs. And, but you can also use other things like I have here some Korean barbecue sauce, 
uh, salmon jerky, uh, so it is a good option. Uh, you should have things like cookies, uh, walnuts, um, you know, things that are easy to use, uh, easy to eat, that don't spill, that come in packets. I really recommend you have that. Try to get away uh, of canned foods uh, because that really adds a lot of weight. If you don't have any, if you don't have that option, yeah, you, you can use canned food, but I really recommend you get these chemical heated ones. Uh, then you should do like a calorie count if you want to, if you want to know how much calories that you want to consume um, during those two days, maybe 2000 calories per day, depending on the amount of walking that you're doing or exercise. Uh, but you know, for me, at least five hot meals, uh, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snacks throughout the game. That's really important. Um, and then you also have water. And I divide my water in, in two ways. So my drinking water and my MRE water. Because as we, talk, as we talked before, um, you will need water to heat up your MREs. And this will take around 60 millimeters of water. So that plus five, let's round up the numbers. So half liter of, of water for your five MREs. Uh, and then you're gonna need your drinking water. So as I showed you before, I have a three liter uh, a source hydration bladder. Then I will have here on this pocket, I was just gonna show you, I will have a HydroPack stash. And this is a great way for you to take water. This takes one liter. Uh, and when it's empty, you can collapse this uh, in a small package. So uh, I have here one liter and I will have a and I will have a canteen also with water. So this takes around one liter. So it will be one liter plus one liter plus uh, three. So five li uh, liters of water total. But don't forget you're gonna need half liter for those MREs. So I will have uh, around four and a half liters of water to drink. And I think that is more than enough for two days, at least for me. Uh, for you, I don't know, maybe you're going to need more, maybe you're going to need less. Uh, of course, for food and water, just going to take this out of the way. I'm going to have also other stuff. For example, here I have a small uh, salt, sugar and pepper dispenser. Uh, so you just open here and salt comes out. So this might come in handy. Uh, I have here a folder cup. This is just something that may come in handy for you to drink uh, something. Um, fold the cup. And then of course here, crackers, just as an example, and some walnuts and almonds and uh, hazelnuts for you to uh, uh, eat as a snack. So we have talked about foods. Uh, I, of course, now we can talk about the rest. For example, I do have here a small jacket. I had it in this, in this pocket. And this is just a hard shell jacket. If it rains a little bit or if there is some humidity or even if you're a little bit cold, you know, these, this jacket can be unfolded and you know, you have an extra layer of clothing, which is important. Um, other important stuff, for example, here I do have, still related with the MREs and food, a spork and an extra uh, spoon, just in case. Uh, this, if you don't know what it is, it, it is for my source hydration bladder. If I need to refill it, I don't have the need to take it out. I just put this on and I can just attach here a water bottle and it, it will fill up the uh, bladder inside the pack, which is a nice, a nice feature. Moving on, uh, on this side, I have some general purpose items related to airsoft. For example, I will have here a speed loader, which is important. Uh, an extra battery and you should keep this inside some type of case or inside a, a, a lipo bag. Uh, so having extra batteries, it is important. If you if you're using AGs, this is just a speed loader adapter for my GDR15. Uh, 
I do have here a Garmin uh, Fortrex 401 just for navigational purposes uh, if you need it. Uh, you know, it comes in handy if the game really needs you to have uh, this. Uh, a power bank, you know, to power up everything that you need from your phone, from your cameras, uh, any other stuff that you need on the field. Then I will have here, which is important, extra BBs uh, for you to keep your gun um, with ammo. Of course, you should have also, which I don't have here at the moment, which is a small can of gas. Uh, for your uh, GBB or your pistol, whatever. Uh, here I have a small shovel and this might come in handy if you need to do some type, you know, if you need to clean up the terrain uh, when you assemble your tents. This is just a, a cheap um, shovel, you know, it, it does its job well, nothing too fancy. So yeah, something that it might come in handy. It is small and light. Uh, and the last pockets, I will have here some other stuff. Uh, for example, flashlights. Uh, and this can be mounted on my gun if I need to. If my primary flashlight goes down, I have this one. Uh, a Petzl headlight. That might come in handy also. Uh, so that for low lights, uh, conditions uh, you can put this on your head and work with your hands uh, nice thing to have this is a SOG uh, saw and it might come in handy once again to uh, do some cleaning of the terrain uh, clear up some branches if you need to assemble your tent or you know for building a shelter whatever I do prefer having a saw than a uh, axe a small axe uh, yeah, it works well. I do have a extra radio, uh, a Balfang radio. If my primary radio goes down or if my teammate needs one or for some, some type of emergency, having an extra radio might come in handy. Uh, I do have a compass. If you need to use a map during the game or know your bearing, so it might come in handy also. Some zip ties, uh, some bigger, some smaller, right here. And you can use this to fix, your, uh, fix your, uh, your gear or for building a shelter. So a lot of uses for zip ties. Then I have here a combat systems right in the rain. And I have here pens, sharpies, um, erasers. Uh, I have a grid uh, reader, some notebooks. So things that will help you on the field if you need to note up something for a briefing or whatever. Uh, a chem light, you never know. This is a Gerber Recon Light, and this has green, red, uh, white, and blue light. And this is just, just a Recon Light if you need to do some signaling with another team. If you don't have radio communication, uh, it might come in handy. And lastly, I have a backup multi-tool just in case this is a cheap one uh, so just a backup one i do have one on my gear at all times and a smoke grenade from enola gay and this is a an emergency a smoke grenade if i need to if i get lost if i need to signal myself uh, on the field uh, people can find me uh, when if i use this smoke grenade and you know that's really about it uh, the pack is now completely empty and yeah, this is just an example of gear that I have, of course. Uh, there might be some things here that I don't have that might be important, for example, ex extra pair of boots or uh, something else. Uh, but that will depend on the size of the pack that you have. I do like to keep things um, as low profile as possible. 
uh, to keep the less weight, uh, things as light as possible, uh, because you will need to carry this on the field. So try to carry only the essential stuff and uh, not things that you don't need. So yeah, that's about it. So hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Hope that it helped you um, to see what you might need on the field. Uh, this is just, as I said on the beginning, just an example. Uh, there are maybe some items that I forgot, maybe some items that are essential for you. But hope this can be a starting point for you to build your own pack. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Stay safe with this whole pandemic. And, you know, check out our website, our social media, our partners, Contractor House, Gators, Eyewear. And, you know, see you next time. Thank you.